Hey, welcome to my very first YouTube gameplay video of City Skylines with the first episode in series from my city called Lakefield. I spent roughly 300 hours on build of this city and I reached 100 of thousand citizens and I'm enjoying it. Unlike my laptop that has almost gone crazy and I had to upgrade my desktop last month to make these videos real. Anyway, back to the topic. I've started to build Lakefield City back at Christmas 2015 in Vanilla Game and I've been gradually improving it with the help of the mods, assets and, of course, by purchasing DLCs. Honestly, I'm not that kind of photorealistic designer like the more famous City Skyline streamers, for example Strikoser or Flux, who are just amazing and fantastic in their focus on every detail. I recommend you to follow the links to their profiles, which I include in the description and see that awesomeness. I am focusing more likely on functional city with complete infrastructure including educational system, healthcare, dead care, fire safety, maintaining public order, garbage and sewage disposal and, of course, on public transport complexity and smooth traffic flow with the minimum traffic jams definitely not on the main roads or highways. I'm also enjoying district planning and designing, bringing Wall City District to life on the greenfield sides. In today's episode I will start with designing and building of the new pre-planet district close to the Silicon Coast. It will be my first circular shaped district with one central element. As you will see, it should be planned a little bit better from the underground level with all consequences and traffic load factor because that circle road design with many junctions and crossroads leads to massive traffic jams without direct connection to and out of the district center. In second half of episode, I will make a huge rebuilding of massive and most problematic intersection which connecting seven different roads. But now, take a look at some cinematics from the lake field. Okay, so let's present all the district of the lake field and its function. We start our flyover about the airport of Nikola Tesla. Little bit about is Inglewood, low-rise district for high-class citizens. On the right side we can see the big roundabout with connection to downtown and old town. We continue with someone highs, then there is a central square with the great traffic hub and another little house district called Clannington village-like district Walnut and Expo Square with all the stadiums and expo exhibitions. Aspen is home of all the workers from many different industries, mines and forestries. At this plateau grown two francophilic districts. Brook Square and Hills are high-rise districts close to the city center. Broad Heights with the biggest King's Central Park and great tourist destination called Sunny Coast, followed by Silicon Coast, next to which we'll build our new district in the moment. Now, 
we move quickly over the hill valley, another low-rise district for mid-class. Here is the Chester Park, place with highest concentration of students with a lot of universities, colleges, libraries or research institutes. And Chester Hills are home to all of the scholars and teachers. Now we jump over the Chester River. Silvercrest is just another love horizon district. But there is a New York's. Biggest and most populated district with skyscrapers and interesting commercial buildings. Smoothly continuing the same development in Prism Park. And we finish our flight over the three industrial district, every with own low-rise residential area. Chestnut, Sycamore, and Brady Plain. But now, I stop that chit chatting. Enjoy the time lapse of building Silicon Cam. Thank you. 
And that's all, folks. I know it was a bit long, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Like I do. In next episode, we will continue and improve the silicon camp. It will be fun. So, bye.